Hey guys, it's Perry of Details Retail. Okay, today we got a little problem we're taking care of that, uh, of course I made the problem. All right, I got a, a Tupper wheelbarrow and my uh, wheels went bad on me. So I went and got these wheels from Harbor Freight because it's close. Um, and also the wheels that uh, ones that come with it from Menards I've already replaced those wheels three times so I was getting tired of how bad they were so I figured I'd try something different and well in one season these are dry rotted as you guys could see um, and the other problem with these were there were 12 inch wheels where the original wheels were 13 so guys when you run in this wheelbarrow that inch difference on the diameter of the wheel makes this dig into the ground for me uh, a lot as I'm trying to pick up and move the wheelbarrow so as you can see I am planning to make a lift kit for this uh, because these wheels are cheaper that I can get them at uh, Harbor Freight when they go bad I'm gonna continue to get these kind of wheels so we might as well just convert the wheelbarrow to accepting these so what we need to do is lift it give it a, a, a body lift uh, and that's what my game plan here is we're gonna lift this up so we'll gain our inch back so we're not running this guy into the dirt all the time when we're picking up on the handles uh, right so basically what we're gonna be doing here is drilling some holes in some one inch uh, square tube and just making a spacer pretty simple easy fix uh, we're gonna put a one inch spacer here which was supposed to be here and it never came with the kit so you know because the kits you can use any kind of tub you can buy different tubs I bought the the commercial tub so not the poly because the polys break uh, the polys break guys uh, my brother-in-law is in uh, into concrete work and the polys always crack around the bolts so guys uh, not the best so I went with the steel uh, commercial grade granted it rusts but it ain't cracking around the bolts yet so not that I do any concrete work but I do a lot of wheelbarrowing of firewood and that is another thing if it cracks around the bolt holes hauling firewood and bust apart it doesn't do me any good right so yeah so we went this route so now I gotta make the spacers uh, running back here guys into the messy 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 uh, garage here we have a new toy to play with so we have a little little bench mill milling machine so I'm gonna use that to uh, make the the holes in it but first I'm gonna get to um, cutting the pieces I need and I'm just gonna use that piece of stock I, that I used on the mill just to play with it and pop some holes in it all right uh, let me get my ear protection and we'll get some of this stuff cut up all right guys alrighty so I got it all laid out here now the distance between the to the holes there on center is two inch so I made my pieces three inches long using my quick squares and my square. Um, drew a line where I was gonna start, cut this off. And then, okay, you got my three inch piece, I'm making it three inches so I can have my two, two inch in center, right? And I center punched them with my automatic puncher. I recommend one of these guys anytime. That's a Sterrett one. Um, so not that. It matters what you get, but yeah, I used to work at a machine shop. So we're gonna drill our holes first, then we'll cut it apart. Uh, and you're wondering why I'm probably going that road. I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a lot easier to work with a piece that's longer than a short one trying to hold on to stuff. So this way I can hold on to it easier, get my holes in, hopefully straight in, <laughs> and then uh, then I'll cut it apart because that's the easy part. Okay guys, um, 
this is your basic setup for a basic mill job. You know, I got my 5 8 T nuts with my uh, clamps, with my backs jacked up. Um, this one probably could have been up a little higher, but it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's on there pretty tight, guys. Uh, let's see. Now, this is only a 12 speed unit, so. I'm not sure what the speed's going to be for this drill. Okay, so all I basically do is that now. Um, we should probably put a little cutting oil on there. You know. I got my one, two, three blocks. She's a little fast, but I don't want to change speeds. So. it because they're running a little fast so this is probably what you shouldn't do because I'm just too lazy to switch all the belts there's two of them in this machine to do that You know, you could always grab your, your brush. Clear through. And this smoke's cool, right? Who doesn't want to see smoke? So, simple as pie, guys. It's not the way to run your it's not the best way to run your brush or your drills because you're going to smoke them out a little bit but you guys get the point so you can use it you can use a drill press um, or you can use a mill or you can hand hand drill it but I got this, this is what we're using well guys we're gonna change the speed I've changed the speed on the the mill because I just didn't like how fast I was cutting. I don't want to waste my drills. So on this one to get me a 200 RPM. So you put that on the, the big one on the bottom. And one to the motor. To, like I said it's a two bolt. Or two belt. Uh, system. And uh, I might just run it without it. Without the cover on. Uh, the dangerous you know. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> yeah okay. So as you can see in the, the speed now, it's a little slower on the speed. So it'll be a little nicer for drilling with the big drill. And it's not really spinning that fast. So I'm gonna worry about the belt coming back to slap me in the head. And I don't put my hand up there either. So, you know, that's one thing. If you're gonna run it out the guards, make sure you don't put your hands in, in the way of stuff. And, uh, a little cutting oil and it's real simple just take your time feed rate see it works working a lot better than uh, what I had it before with smoking fast speed do anything with anything but do you want your tooling to last yeah that's that's the big issue and I thought maybe I'd just do it this way then I would have to change the belt you know but sometimes lazy is not always the best way for sure but that's what it should be like now And just gradually putting pressure, let the tool do the work. Piece of cake, guys. 
So, all right. Now you've seen that I slowed it down, that I'm running at the closest to speed that it should be. I didn't, I didn't get out the calculator, but it's okay. It is definitely cutting a lot better than smoking my drill. All right, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. I'm gonna get the other two popped in, and uh, we're not gonna record that because who needs to see that? All right. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like when I got done with them. This is all my little lifts, my lift blocks. All right, uh, this thing's been fixed once already. Uh, my neighbor welded a washer on it. So that was kind of a fix for him. He uses this all the time. So, all right, guys, we'll get it on and I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, guys, here it is, all put together. All right. <laughs> See, I had to make the blocks for this that never came with this. For some reason, it never fit to this wheelbarrow. So, okay, so there's my lift block. You know, just had to go get some longer bolts. That was a buck twenty-five for the longer bolts. So, yeah, you think okay, you you spend a little more money in the bolts that it's just cheaper tires, right? Not a big deal. It was dollar twenty-five. Save me on probably ten dollars on wheels. So, all right, there you go, guys. If you like the the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment in the comments box, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.